Hi and welcome to the Canvas Print Shop. We're going to show you from start to finish how we produce your lovely canvases that you order from us on the website. So first of all, if you come over to the machine, this is one of the canvases that has just come off. We're simply just going to cut that off the machine and bring it over to our table. Now this particular canvas we've gallery wrapped so we've taken the image around the edge of the canvas bars. So first of all we have to produce our canvas frame. And what we do is we slot these 38mm wooden bars together, just like this. But I'm not going to waste time putting all these together because like Blue Peter, here's one I made earlier. So you have your frame here. Now first of all, what we have to do is make sure that this frame is square. Just by measuring the diagonals, which this one is. If it isn't, just simply tap the edges to make it square and then re-measure. So you have your image here. Now what we need to do is pop the frame exactly on the centre of the image so that it's aligned. And then with your pencil, just carefully keep it in place and then mark the corners with a pencil at the edge of the frame, like so. So now you've got it marked, turn the image over, before I do that actually I'm just going to trim this excess white off. So turn the image over and pop your frame over the top. And then all we have to do is using our staple gun, mount the image. Now I'll just mount two sides. Oh, bit of a malfunction on the gun there. Right. And then turn it over to check if your image is central. So we'll just do another staple. And then another one there. So you've got your four staples in. And as you can see, that image is nice and central. So we're ready to stretch the rest of the image over the bars. Now, at the canvas print shop, we use these calipers so we can get it really taut. But if you're doing this at home, you can just use your fingers. Turn round each side so you get a nice even stretch. keep checking it as I'm doing it just to make sure it's nice and taut now when you get to the corners you have to pinch the side into a fold and then just trim the corner off like that then put one last staple in that edge, tuck the side in with your scissors 
pull really tight and then pull that corner in so you have a nice clean edge like that. Now what I tend to do is just trim these edges off nice and tidily so that it looks good from the back when we tape it. So what I do is just do that with each corner. So again, pinch the edges, trim it off, staple that edge. If the staples don't go in, it's just because of the knot of the wood, so just give them a gentle hammer. Then tuck the edge in as tight as you can. Staple the edge. And as you can see, we're just working our way around. So another corner, nice tight crease, trim the edge. Fold it in. It's easy to just trim these excesses off before you actually finish the final staking on the corner. down to the last corner now. Again that one's on a bit of a knot wood so just give it a little bash. And there you have your final canvas print. Now what we do, just to finish off the edges, is we put some tape over the edges so they don't fray. And then we parcel it up and send it to you.